In 2018, Israel's first high-speed train is scheduled to leave Tel Aviv. It will chug along Israel's longest bridge, through its longest tunnel, and atop its tallest bridge, before reaching here, Jerusalem, at Israel's deepest station. Let's take a look. When the estimated budget of 7 billion shekels has been spent, this construction site outside the International Convention Center will be Jerusalem's new railway station. Passengers will enter this central area from four entrances, two on Yafo and two on Shazar, with one entrance right on the light rail platform. They'll then head down these escalators to the ticket barriers. Darting into one of three enormous elevators, which can fit 33 passengers each, they'll travel 70 meters underground in 25 seconds. I'm taking the workman's lift instead. When this project goes live, a high-speed train will be able to leave here and hurtle towards Tel Aviv at 160 kilometers per hour in 28 minutes flat and reaching all stations to Herzliya. The train will also reach Ben Gurion Airport in 20 minutes. I'm 70 meters underground and astonishingly I have perfect signal. With four trains an hour at peak times carrying 1,000 people each, Tel Aviv and Jerusalem will practically be transformed into suburbs of each other. This is the passenger's platform, and then you want to know, okay, so where's the train? But well, we're going to see the whole way through here are shops, uh, cafes, so on, and the people wait here, the benches are here. Where's the train? The train is all to my right, all to my left. We have three exits, which we go down to the train. This, with one of the biggest and most complex train stations ever built in the world. We're talking about one of the largest and most complex infrastructure projects in Israel in all times. Especially in these days... Since the Second Temple. Close. <laughs> On a normal day, the main passenger concourse will be buzzing with shops and cafes. But during times of emergency... So we just passed through two very heavy metal doors. Is this the fabled nuclear bunker? So what interesting way of putting it, this is a very safe area. We are 70 meters below road level, so definitely this is a safe area. So in times of emergency, how many people can fit here? Talking about thousands. Down to the platform. Well, as we see here is actually we have the two platforms, we have the stairs, we have the light fittings, we have the walls up, we have the air conditioning and the whole air circulation. This is in. actually happening. This is it. The Jerusalemites have no idea what's going on under their feet. This is it. It's happening and we're ready. We're almost ready to go. The new station includes four platforms, each 320 meters long. In future, trains will also leave for other parts of the country, such as Modi'in. So this is where the train from Tel Aviv arrives? Well, actually, that's a very interesting fact. One of the only heritages we left on the British mandate was the train system. The trains stick to the right, on the, uh, and they drive to the right, opposite from the cars in Israel. So actually, what we're going to see are the trains coming in from Tel Aviv. They will, they will be coming in actually on my right, and the trains going out to Tel Aviv will be taking us from the left. Where are the train tracks? Train tracks, good point. We can't bring in the train before the tracks. But the train tracks are the last thing we put down. This will be one of the first places in Israel where we will use what's called slap tracks. Slap tracks in, uh, are actually big uh, pieces of cement, which the tracks are already built in into the cement itself. It is not logs and small rocks like we're used to see today. Like a first world country. It's about time. Time to go. Now how do I get out of here? I guess this is where the massive new escalators will go. Israel Railways is adamant that the project will open on time. So year after next in Jerusalem then. Attention all passengers. The train to Ben Gurion Airport will leave from platform number two. Thank you and have a pleasant journey. Elon Aslan Leafy for IBA News.